this is a 2006 Honda Civic. I'm diagnosing a uh, not starting problem and in the process I wanted to take the harmonic balance or the shaft, crankshaft pulley off. So here's, here's my setup. You can see my setup. I'm using a, a jack stand and a big honking bar and a 19 millimeter socket with a bunch of extensions. So my initial attempt my initial attempt to uh, remove the pulley was not successful. I was using the tool that they recommend you use to hold the crankshaft and it kind of fits into some notches on the pulley but you can kind of see the rust marks now where that nut was so tight it actually ended up having that tool break off the mounts where that socket sits in. So once that happened then I kind of realized I was in trouble. So my next way I kind of ended up MacGyvering an idea and you can kind of see how I used a quarter inch cable. I looped it through the pulley and I looped it through part of the suspension and I used the clamps to hold it in place. So the idea was it would prevent the pulley from turning because I'm turning counterclockwise to remove it. So it'll try pushing the right side of the pulley up and I would try to use that to break it free. And it was successful. If I, uh, I can kind of, it was successful for me and my little setup worked really well and now I now the nut's actually loose and I can turn the nut so I'll be able to pull the socket off. If it wasn't for the cable setup I have no idea how I would have got that off because that nut was so so tight it was like three or four hundred foot pounds. I, I had my big bar on there and I was bouncing on the thing like crazy so it did finally let go and that was a, a happy day for me. Hope this helps you. Talk to you later. So when I was trying to remove this pulley, it was the nut was extremely tight. I was using the Honda, Honda tool to help hold the damper in place while you try, try to take the nut out of the center. Um, that nut was so tight, what it ended up doing is it ended up breaking the casting that went and held this socket in place. That was a really unfortunate thing. That nut was so, so tight, I could not get it. It ended up breaking the housing. And then I went to the cable method, which was is what I kind of described in that other video. So I hope this doesn't happen to you because it was a colossal pain, but I did manage to get the damper off and you can see the damage that happened. Have a good day.